Thank you for joining us on Ebru Africa this morning. I'm Charity Shkinid. This is The On Trend. Now, we take a look at the stories making way across the social media platform and in specifically the Twitter handle. Now, in Twitter, two matches are being highlighted that people are talking about and cannot seem to get enough of. It's the Manchester Derby, the match between Manchester United versus Manchester City that took place yesterday night. Now, in this particular Derby match, we had Manchester City paint the Manchester City blue when it came to this particular game. Now the Reds have gone down yet again this particular season. Now all their hopes for the Barclays Premiership League title is dashed having lost 3-0 in this particular match. But yet all hope is not lost since they have the UEFA Champions League uh, title to go forth for, for they uh, booked their 8th uh, place in this particular championship. But yet they face uh, stiff competition when it comes to Manchester Bundesliga with the Bayern Munich team being the first team on the table standings to face Manchester United. So indeed the future is not bright for them in the Barclays Premiership but still we are having a lot of Manchester United fans just come to Twitter and just give their teams a lot of support telling them that indeed today is gone but tomorrow is yet another day to face other challenges. We have here Twinkle Motor who says we will rebuild and attack. You cannot just change the fact that we came back stronger whenever we have been down. Glory glory Manchester United. Now we have here Math, Mr. Isaac Wakesa who's saying, Moyes, you're killing us. What, uh, look what you have reduced us to. Glory, glory, Manchester United. We have here hashtag five. Next season, Adelagi, this meaning next season is when the hopes will always come to to the forefront having lost all hopes in this particular Barclays Premiership League but the hashtag to be is glory glory Manchester United that is GGMU hashtag we have here uh, smiley face Zahida who says Manchester United will rise again glory glory Manchester United so indeed people are uh, having hopes for their team Manchester United they are on seventh place with 51 points so indeed they have lost all their chances of becoming the championship winners this season but indeed this is a team that has been used to uh, winning uh, various matches when it comes at various cup titles when it comes to the matters British Premier League AFA Cup and also the UEFA Champions League so indeed it is quite a sore lose when it comes to matters this season when it comes to Manchester United but also Manchester City is making strides they are in second position with 66 points indeed if they win another game then they will be at a draw draw with uh, Chelsea Football Club with 69 points but Arsenal is fourth position with 63 points having drawn and I come here to it, having drawn with um, the Swansea the Swansea team. Now, indeed, they were supposed to win this particular match, but an own goal by Matthew Flamini at the last minute caused this particular uh, game to end draw, draw with two, two points. Now, we have uh, Mr. Aston Wenger just saying, indeed, that all that uh, the hope for Manchester United, uh, for Arsenal, beg your pardon, team, to win this particular da this particular uh, season uh, cup is not going to happen. So, he's saying the contenders, that is Chelsea Football Club and Manchester City are the people to watch out when it comes to this particular season 2014 Barclays Premiership League standing. Now we have here Arsenal defender Thomas Vlamen Vamalin, I beg your pardon, unhappy with the draw against Swazi team. So indeed, this is quite of the highlight of the stories coming in through here. We have here Arsenal News saying Twitter reacts to Arsenal's draw at home to Swansea City. Now this took place at the stadium, the 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 what what is it? Beg your pardon, the Arsenal made main stadium that it did not go well with the Swansea, the, the Arsenal fans when it came to matters drawing and particularly Flamini's own goal. At the last minute, really, when they were supposed to take this uh, this game with a 2-1 defeat against Swansea. So indeed, Arsenal people are not Arsenal. Uh, fans and also the team players are not taking this particular loss uh, lightly but they have been added one point to 63 points but they are still in fourth position so indeed th their hopes in this particular Premier League is not really uh, it's, not, it's not really fortunate because indeed they have a long way to go and with uh, less than f uh, six matches to go we have a lot of hopes for them being dashed having People such as Chelsea and Manchester City having 66 and 69 points respectively. So indeed, but they, their hopes are not dashed because they have the FA Cup to go forward to and to actually, uh, the, 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 the chances of winning the FA Cup is still strong. So indeed, we're waiting to see if indeed they will make 
it home with the AFA Cup. But when it comes to matters, Barclays Premiership, the 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 the. The fight to actually get this particular this particular title is slim to none. So lastly, let's finish up with the hashtag Nairobi, where you find all the trending topics that are making way across Kenya and specifically here in Nairobi. Now, indeed, something that I should let you know is that court that is Kenyans on Twitter are the third highest people who tweet in the whole of Africa. Just third, second, just third after that is Cairo and Johannesburg. So the hashtag Cairo, the tweeters in Cairo are indeed the number one people when it comes to matters twitter followed closely by johannesburg residents who are the second and finally court kenyans on twitter take third position when it comes to matters tweeting here in africa so indeed that is quite a good a good story right there so indeed it means kenyans are embracing the social network so indeed this is quite a good place to be when it comes to matters nairobi everything from traffic to health to all the stories making way in nairobi this is a hashtag to be at so make your comments known but lastly let me give you a, a Actually, Facebook, where Africa this morning is. Now, this is a page to be when it comes to matters, understanding what happens in the political world, the football world, the sports world, um, and basically what is happening in the whole globe as well. Africa this morning is a place to be, to be given authentic news. We have all the stories we have done in the past. So indeed, we give you not only the past, the future, but also we write to you what will happen in the present. I'm Charity Kene. This is On Trend. Thank you.